Were you, in your house, were you washing <laughs> the foot? I do you remember? I was never that asked about the old touchy touchy thing. I thought that was overkill. I got it, but I I never. So I've, you wash fruit anyway. That no, but I bit. mean like people washing like like bags of fucking crisps and shit. Yeah, I think if you wipe something down anywhere, like you know, like old ladies were wiping down like shopping trolleys. I just think you look like a fucking idiot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know COVID's bad, but I just don't want to look that much of a twat. Says a guy in a bright orange hoodie. <laughs> you know. so I've just got weird priorities, so I never got into it. I was going to give a fuck. You didn't wash anything? Nah. I, don't know. I did quarantine some cans of Coke for 24 hours. <laughs> right. Behind, the, behind the, the chair. <laughs> yeah. Behind the chair. Put them behind the chair in the living room so that it didn't catch me eye later at night. And I'd be like, oh, Do you remember the, you know... Uh, <laughs> Professor, <laughs> whatever he was on, they talked about that. The government had a big thing about it from, da from down the street. Chair. And put your cans behind the couch. <laughs> and that's how they're safe. No, well, I put it there so that I couldn't like be like distracted by it. Because like I don't know about you. I think this is like part of the fat man's manifesto. You know, if I'm trying not to eat something, especially something that's bad for me, they, the th they start talking to me. Like if I've got chocolate in the cupboard and I'm on a diet, I can hear the biscuits and I'd be like, Adam. Right. We're in the cupboard. So that's just it. Your in two episodes, you've, <laughs> you're now being talked to by cans of Coke, snacks, and your flat. You are going, you're going mental in such a high visibility way. Yeah, you got to cut down on that vape DMT. <laughs> <laughs> the chocolates are talking to me. You're in the spirit world, Adam. How did you do, Tom, l like told to stay at home? Like, because cause I, well, I was all right. Everyone suffered with it. But I, like... I've known you 20 years and obviously yeah. it's just through comedy, but you gig everywhere around the world. Yeah. One of the best acts ever. But like, how was it when you were told to just stay in your fucking house? Uh, I'll, I'll say this, Dan, you're going to love this answer. I've never listened to a thing the government's ever said. <laughs> Didn't listen Were to it in the eighties. <laughs> didn't I? I didn't need to gig, cause, but I wasn't staying in. <laughs> I was out every day walking around. <laughs> you know, I'd come back in. Trudy would spray me before the door. <laughs> Like, oh yeah, it was. I just, I don't know, man. I'm, a, I'm one of the guys. I'm one of the guys that's like, you know, you're in it for yourself, Dan. Like, I'm, I, I love everybody. Yeah. But, you know, I can't stop everybody from being a fucking retard. You know what I mean? There's, there's no doubt in my mind. Oh, the wokeness showed up. <laughs> wokeness just kicked the door uh. down. Did I hear somebody say retard? <laughs> Fucking Jesus Christ. Sign him up for another advert, guys. <laughs> this is how he makes his money. Fucking old Jimmy Saturday night. <laughs> Light entertainment, yeah. Tommy. <laughs> Welcome to the one show. Oh my God, I would love it if, if someone had an aneurysm here. and gave yeah. Tom State the one show. Yeah, it would go well. Do you know what I love, though? So, like, early on in the sort of boom of TV comedy, you did do a lot of stuff, yeah. and I love that that's happened. And then <laughs> you've said so much stuff that is proper funny yeah. that they can't actually put on TV, and they've gone, "Oh God!" Because when they they've obviously had a meeting at the start, and I'm right, we're going to start TV comedy. There's going to be panel shows, live at the Apollo, McIntyre's Roadshow. Who are the best comedians in the whole of the UK? And everyone's gone, "Oh well, Tom Stage, obviously one of them." They've gone, right, give him everything. Yeah. And then there's Oxbridge TV producers going, "Oh no, <laughs> no, 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 no." no. <laughs> <laughs> I feel that's hilarious. <laughs> I've never really looked back, but now that I am, <laughs> like, yeah, that was crazy. T yeah, that was like everything, and then then you <laughs> just like stopped, and I'm like, going, was it something I said? And they were like, yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. I thought we were comedians. <laughs> I thought we were supposed to be inappropriate. We're not supposed to be inappropriate. We're supposed to tell boring stories that are barely funny and fucking get, get, get on TV and nobody complains. That's how I keep my job. You're not helping me keep my job. I'm from Oxford. This is how I sound when I'm really angry. <laughs> you know, so, but yeah, dead on, man. So now I'm on the podcast circuit. <laughs> this, is, this is where I'm gaining all my viewership. Tom stayed comic. Hey, I'm Tom, you right Tom now. Tom stayed comic Twitter. 
I cannot Marketing. recommend this circuit enough. Yeah, it's awesome, actually. It's much more fun. Let, listen, <laughs> let me tell you something. <laughs> you know before when, you know, you know before when you said retard? That would have been cut out of TV. We're going to make it the clip. <laughs> perfect, perfect. Bring it on, man. That's Adam, so Adam. funny. What was wokeness, well, you know what wokeness is? Wokeness is like the, wokeness is the same as the white man showing up in in North America, except instead of like topics, where if topics were Buffalo, you know, before the wokeness showed up, like in the eighties and all that, there was like sexual assault jokes as far as the eye could see. That there were words Herds. that were words of rape jokes. Herds of them. It was rope. majestic. <laughs> so like, hang on, whoa, shush, shush, shush. It's rape jokes coming. <laughs> They're beautiful, all of them, they're beautiful. And we just pick one or two, just enough to keep the village alive, you know? And then, and then the wokeness showed up on the shores and just wiped all the shit out. Now we're just dining on cows, like, I don't even know what the equivalent of cow, I'll think about it, give me five minutes. Off. But whatever, we're eating McDonald's now. We're not hunting our own food, any thanks, wokeness. Ha, 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 ha